Hello everyone and welcome to this video. Today we're going to be talking about vernier calipers. Specifically, what are vernier calipers and uh, how do we read them? So, without further ado, let's get right into this. So, first of all, we're going to be talking about what is a vernier caliper and what is its use. So, a vernier caliper is used to uh, to measure the distance of an object. Uh, as you can see, there are jaws right here. Uh, these are the jaws. So uh, these two things. So uh, what you do is you put a thing behind them. For example, football, and you tighten the jaws and you measure the distance. Now, now that I've we've cleared up what uh, actually before I get into how we read a vernier caliper, I would just like to uh, uh, point out something that is very important. This the blue scale right here is called the vernier scale and the white scale the big one is called the main scale so that is something very important as uh, that you have to remember as we go through this so we're gonna move forward into how you read a ver uh, a vernier caliper so how do you read a vernier caliper well the step one is to find the first value and to find the first value you need to look at the uh, Vernier scale, which is this thing right here, and you need to find the zero. So the zero is right there. Uh, I just marked it with my highlighter. That's that's the zero. So in the Vernier scale, behind the zero, there should be a mark uh, on the main scale. So for example, here's a um, on the Vernier scale, there's a zero right here. So behind it, on the main scale, directly behind it. You should re take the first reading behind it, which is going to be this one right here, this thing. Uh, so again, you see the zero on the Vernier scale? Just look behind it directly, uh, the first thing on the main scale, and that's going to be the answer. Now it says here that it's 22, but uh, it's actually 23. Uh, I've measured, don't worry, it's 23. So our first reading is 23. So now let's move into the next reading. The next reading you should take care to divert all of your attentions to here. Just just on the Vernier scale. Actually be, uh, specifically between the uh, between the uh, main scale and the Vernier scale. Why is that? Now I'll show you why you have to divert your attention there. The reason you have to divert your attention over the place I told you between the Werner scale and the main scale is if you want to find the second reading you need to uh, look at the Werner scale here's a mark uh, let me just choose my highlighter the, here's a reading 0 0 0.5 1 1.5 2 now look directly above the 0 directly above the 0 you should try to find uh, on the main scale uh, you need to find one that is aligned with each other. What do I mean by that? Because that sounds really confusing. What do you mean by that? I'm going to explain it to you right now. And to explain it, I'm going to show you guys the answer. You see this? I'm going to mark this. You see this right here? That This is the answer. Now, how is this the answer? This is the answer because it's aligned with each other. As you can see, the marking on the vernier scale is aligned directly with the marking on the main scale now if you see seven it's it's not exactly aligned and if you see uh, if you see five that's not exactly aligned as well if you see uh, four point five it's not aligned as well only six is aligned exactly so you need to be very careful very very careful because some examiners can you know cheat you and like just give you a tough time in this question so the first step is to find uh, the actually let me go back here the first step is to find this right here the the one I just find directly behind the zero on the Vernier scale and it's supposed to be on the main scale so it's 23 the first number is 23 now we go uh, forward and this is the answer uh, point six 
point six. Uh, the reason we're writing point six is because it's on the vernier scale, and on the vernier scale, everything's in decimals and la la la. So, uh, let's go back here. What is the reading then? The reading is twenty three plus point six. So twenty three was the first reading. Point six was the second reading, and all you need to do now is add them together to get voila, twenty three point six uh, centimeters. Is that centimeter? I think it's millimeters. Yeah, it's millimeters. It's definitely millime millimeters. So yeah, that there's your answer, guys. Um, if you ha understood anything, uh, please leave a like and subscribe uh, because I will be posting more videos from now on i realized that i have been very inconsistent with my channel very very inconsistent and i'm very sorry but from now on i'm gonna be very consistent and i promise that i'm gonna uh, i'm gonna you know upload more videos and such so uh yeah see you guys uh later